The President, please be seated. The court is now in session. Before we hand over to the prosecution, Mrs. Sykolbuti, the Grefje of the trial chamber, is instructed to report on the presence of the parties to the proceedings today. Mrs. Saikovuti, Mr. President, Monsieur parties to the proceedings today are all present except Mr. Yingsri, who is present but in his holding cell. Mr. Yingsri has waived his right to participate directly in the courtroom for the whole day today. His waiver has been submitted to the greffier. The next civil party who will be giving testimony after Mr. Kum Won is TCCP 28, and the witness is ready to be called. The President. Thank you very much. The Chamber would like now to rule upon the request by Mr. Inzeri. The Chamber is seized of the request by of Mr. Inzeri through his counsel, in which he has requested the Chamber that he be allowed to observe the proceedings from his holding cell for the for the whole day. Mr. Lum Sibuta, the medical doctor on duty at Dr. the ECCC, has examined uh, Mr. Yingsari and indicates that Mr. Yingsari feels dizzy and finds it difficult to remain seated for a long period of time. And the doctor recommends that the chamber allow Mr. Yingsari to observe the proceedings from his holding cell. The chamber therefore notes the recommendations by the doctor and is convinced that Mr. Yingsari is mentally fit uh, to observe the proceedings, although he has some physical constraints uh, uh, to pour, uh, be able to be débats, seated in the actual courtroom The chamber therefore grants such requests. Mr. Yingsari is now permitted to Yingsari observe the proceedings from his holding cell through video audio link for the entire day today. Every both officers are now instructed to ensure that the audio visual link is connected to the holding cell so that Mr. Yingsari can observe the proceedings from there. Next, we would like to hand over to Mr. Co-Prosecutor. And yesterday, the chamber was seized of the request by the prosecution asking for additional time for posing questions to the witness. The chamber notes that the request and certain circumstance of this witness testimony is vital for giving additional time to the prosecution because the witness has inside knowledge of the relevant questions. The Chamber therefore grants such requests by the prosecution from now, the prosecution will have the whole morning session, including the lead co-lawyers for the civil party, to put questions to the witness. The chamber will grant some 
appropriate additional time to the Ma prosecutor chambre. when needed donnera l'accusation during this period of time Mr. Co-Prosecutor is advised uh, to select uh, the most significant questions uh, and make the most of the time allocated. Thank you. You may now proceed. Mr. President, um, I'm grateful. Thank you. Can I indicate that uh, I have selected now the what the prosecution to consider to be the more important document. So I have proved the contents of further examination. And I've also been in discussion both yesterday and today with um, the lead civil lawyers as to the division of appropriate time for this witness. Now, Mr. Kimbun, we yesterday uh, dealt with Yeah. a press release dated the 14th of April 1976. To remind everyone in court, that was E3-262. Now, for the purposes of my first question, my learned friends, um, the judges in the court, and anyone else following, will in effect have to have one eye on that press release of the 14th of April 1976, but will also have to have regard to uh, another document to put the question in context. And the other document, can I please quote, it's um, E3-380, Khmer 00357199. French 00485431, going into 3-2, and English 00365644. Mr. Kimbun, um, for your purposes, I'd like you please, and I don't know if there's any documentation left from yesterday, but on uh, document E3-262, I'd like please you to um, have a look at the page in Khmer, which is 00-6-22-989. I wonder if Mr. Kim Bung can be given some assistance with this page, please. It's uh, to remind E3-262 and the page in Khmer, 00-6-22-989. Mr. Kim Vaughan, this is still on the press release dated the 14th of April 1976. And we can see uh, on this page there is a list of 10 people. And on the list of 10 people, before we have the list, there is this text. The Standing Committee of the People's Representative Assembly of Cambodia is made up of the following members. So at number one, Nguyen Chia. Number two, Nguyen Kang. Nguyen Chia, incidentally, being described as President. Nguyen Kang as first Vice President. Pio Su as the second vice president, and then a list thereafter of members of the assembly. Now, in one of the interviews with the investigators from this court, you set out a list of 18 individuals, and you named some ministries. And when you were describing to the investigators your knowledge of these persons and ministries, in relation to Chia Sim, you said that he was Nguyen Chia's deputy. Can I ask, please, what information you were basing that assessment on? In other words, why did you think that Chia Sim was Nguyen Chia's deputy.
response. I stated earlier that uh, I was in the youth league of the Community Party of Cambodia. I was not a member of the party. So my knowledge about the roles of the senior leaders Donc, is very limited. I paid uh, des, very des little des attention to the radio broadcast uh, concerning this because back then I paid sujet. greater attention à into performing my tasks very well. The journalists at that time did not take good photographs of the les leaders pas de and foreign delegations des, into the country, et des, des and uh, uh, my knowledge uh, was acquired from the broadcasts, the et radio broadcasts, and my impression was that Mr. Nunchia was the chairman of the assembly, donc, que était and uh, Mr. Chiesim, Chiesim, maybe Uh, was the deputy chairman of the assembly. That's what my impression was back then, and I think it is true. Because during the CPK, the work division was uh, precisely set, uh, and everyone would know who did uh, what. And uh, in the government, if we did not pay great attention to the radio broadcast, then we would not be able to keep ourselves abreast of the situation. Because during the CPK, secrecy was the main part of the task. And uh, indeed, I was supposed to only know what I was supposed to do. If I had to go to the field, I had to focus on what I supposed to do. For example, knowing Uh, the development exemple, of the canal, the dams building, and rice paddy production. At that time, I, feel, I felt that I did not pay great attention to the roles of the leader, but I can conclude that uh, Mr. Chiesim could be the deputy chairman of the assembly. And I can also confirm that this document does not belong to the CPK, because Uh, at that time, the technology uh, was not uh, good enough for us to produce uh, such uh, printed material. And if you look at the structure, at that time, comrade uh, would be used to refer to uh, uh, the cadres of the Khmer Rouge, but in this text, they use only mut in Khmer, which means like friend, so it could have never been the document by the CPK. However, this document on my right hand side is the genuine document of the Khmer Rouge. Par contre, l'autre document que j'ai est un document authentique. Sorry, uh, forgive me, Mr. Kimbron. I don't know what the document on your right hand side is, being a document from the Khmer Rouge. Je ne sais pas exactement quel document vous faites référence. C'est celui à droite, peut-être. Vous pouvez nous le dire si quel est le document on the right hand side de ce document à droite auquel le témoin fait référence. Just going back to um, just going back to Nguyen Chia and Chia Sim. Did you ever see the two of them together at any gatherings, meetings, or anything of that nature? Ensemble lors de rassemblements ou autres réunions. Response. No, I never. Response. No, jamais. But I. Know Mr. Nguyen Chia very well. Je bien I Nguyen never Chia. known Mr. Chia Sim. Je I connu have heard Chia Sim. of him. En ai parler, par I was told by my friends that Mes he amis. was or he could have 
been the deputy chairman of the assembly. De assembly. And I can say that I did not know much about the role of all the leaders, Et although I have very good knowledge of the role of Mr. Nguyen Mais je connais bien le rôle de Nguyen Chien. Mr. Kim Bon, thank you. Can I just clarify on that then? That your knowledge as to the position or standing of Chia Sin was derived from what other people told you. C'est sur la base de ce que l'on vous a dit que vous avez conclu que Chia Sin avait le rôle que vous croyez qu'il avait. Response: Yes, it is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Did you ever see any? Documentation at the printing house stating for sure that Chia Sim was Nguyen Chia's deputy in any way. Chia Sim was Nguyen Chia's deputy in any way. Response: No, I didn't. No. I already stated that uh, the structure of the party or the standing of the leaders. Uh, was uh, not knowledgeable to me other than the roles of individuals whom I worked with, including Mrs. Yon Yat, Mr. Kiu Sampan, Mr. Nguyen Chia, Paul Pot. Paul Pot. These individuals uh, are known to me very Je well. Bien ces Apart from them, in various ministries, in the propaganda uh, ministry structure, I could have known other individuals, although I may not know other in individuals in other ministries outside this. I understand. Thank you. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, can I please next show Mr. Kim Bon uh, the document which uh, is E3. And the ERNs are Khmer 00063059, French 00491868, and English 00045005. The president. the president, you may proceed. Court officer is now instructed to bring the hard copy of the document from the prosecution to the witness for examination. Sorry, Mr. Kim Vun, what you have before okay. you is the front Kim page of a revolutionary flag special issue, La page September, de September de October, October 1976. Can you help me please on this, based on your knowledge of revolutionary flag? <laughs> What sort of subject matter would there be in a special issue? Quels étaient les sujets traités par les numéros spéciaux de ce magazine? Response. Having looked at this copied version, it is a copy from the Genuine Revolutionary Flag magazine. And as I already stated, uh, with regard to the printing house task, I was part of disseminating the information rather than publishing them. Je de so I may have not had inside knowledge of the Donc, subject matters being included in the special edition or issue. Que que Thank you. Help me on this, and if you can't uh, answer, then please say so. 
but in the time that you were connected with revolutionary flag, how often was there an ordinary issue and how often was there a special issue? Response. I stated already that I'm not clear on this, although I can confirm that these documents are the genuine documents of the Khmer Thank you. I just want to take you to the next page that's um, behind the front page. Um, in your pack, but to give the ERN numbers, Khmer 00063062, French 00491871, and English 00450504. We now have an extract from this edition, and the extract is headed excerpts of the speech of the Comrade Party representative on the occasion of the great victory of the 16th anniversary ceremony of the birth of the Communist Party of Campuchia and then the dates from the 30th of September 1960 to the 30th of September 1976. And then in the text, uh, it is said, today we meet for the great victory of the 16th anniversary ceremony of the birth of our Communist Party of Campuchia. Now, in respect of anniversaries of the birthday of the party, what can you tell us about such anniversaries, if anything? Response. Each political party in each country Réponse. has a date where they celebrate its bah, anniversary, pays, uh, and I believe it is the case in, de parti. Uh, with regard to the CPK. Le cas pour le parti du I understand the content of this very little. In particular, le regarding the dates, the 30th of September 1970. So to go to the historical background of the party, it is not actually true. Donc, pour ce qui est des du parti, ce pas vrai, the party en fait. could have been established by in 1950s, although I do not remember the exact date. Si je ne pas la date exact. Paul Pot would like to set this new date because he Paul would Pot like to free himself date, from the influence of the CPK, de or other CPK, rather, de notre PCK. because he believed that by stating 1960s, Et donc, en déclarant uh, uh, que la date de création du parti était le 30 septembre 1960, CPK il aurait jugé que c'était plus approprié. Le parti voulait avoir sa propre the CPK could have si been linked uh, to other le parti communist du parties in Laos and Vietnam. Comme Laos and Vietnam. Pol Pot liked uh, to eliminate uh, the Viet Minh movement. And it Pol Pot was appropriate for him to change the date of the birth du of the party. That's my understanding of the history of this. Établir comme date de création du parti la date que vous voyez là. Thank you. I'd like to move on to another subject, please. And the source document for this next subject is one of your 
previous interviews with the investigators, and so the number is E3 slash 381, and the ERNs are as follows, Khmer 0035-7206, moving into 207, French 0040299, and English 0036-55529. And on this page, you said this. À cette page, donc, vous dites, je cite, Dissemination about the purges La diffusion de purges of the purges internal enemies des ennemis was broadcasted widely était largement both on the radio diffusé and in meetings, tant à la radio que lors des réunions, saying, quote, Ils if any brother or sister is involved, si Ankar will forgive them, close quote. It, if you can help me on this, please do. Appliquer if you can't, please pardonnera. say so. Faire un First question. question. Si vous ne pouvez pas répondre, veuillez nous l'indiquer. What would a Première person question. have done to become an internal enemy? Que... Qu'est-ce que l'on pouvait reprocher à quelqu'un? Quels étaient les actes posés par quelqu'un pour être considéré comme un ennemi interne? Yesterday, Réponse. I talked a little bit about the white Khmer. J'ai parlé un peu des Khmer Blancs hier. En 1973, quand j'étais dans la zone libérée du district de Stung Trang, à cette époque, les mouvements Aerial Sihanouk bombardments, people were displaced and they moved to the liberated zone. At that time, secrecy was really vital. And that was why the smashing of the infiltrated enemies uh, would involve other movements as well. During the three years period, uh, there were several other factions and parties. I believed back then that was the case. And according to the document concerning the internal enemies or infiltrated or bore within enemies, as stated in the Black Ink slogan, I remember the June aggressors, enemies, and CIA agents infiltrated in the party, including the KGB agents who were treated as the enemies as well. And I was convinced uh, it was the case. We practically endured hardship, encountered a lot Nos of problems because there were fighting, because des, de problèmes, il y avait des we were in the movements and we also noted there were other movements from the, uh, the, the troops uh, that or members of the movement from the Turkey or from the or the troop, the movement that backed by Americans, and it led Américains. to the event that Lonol was toppled down, Et or finalement. rather, uh, it led to the coup d'état in 1970. So, in the movement, uh, we had partners Nous avions, in war. Des partenaires dans in notre the lutte. war, Lonol people uh, la guerre, were les gens de l'ONNOL supported and they were, they were never short of supplies de soutien so in a nutshell we can say that uh, the rich people in the movement could uh, afford uh, more weaponry modern weaponry and for people who supported and led by the 
Then Prince Nur Ram Sihanouk uh, were poor, so they were armed le with le machetes and sticks de and, and axes, axes et de like hache. that. So this uh, phenomenon, uh, the contradiction, had happened long time ago, not just during the CPK. Bien avant, pas and, uh, the CPK had to be vigilant uh, to control and the CPK had uh, control several troops other, uh, or more troops uh, as opposed to the Lonol's regime. Devait contrôler plus At de that soldats time, Cambodian people themselves treated other as enemies or adversaries. Cambodian Even the king who was toppled down from power uh, appealed to people, Cambodian people, to go to the jungle of Maki to fight back. So people looked into others as enemies. Et donc les gens voyaient des ennemis partout. I again feel that when it comes to military affairs or political affairs that are more complicated, uh, it is not really Pour my insight knowledge of uh, this because I was attached to only the propaganda section. Mr. Kim Boon, thank you. Just two supplemental questions, I hope, arising from the that. Procureur, merci, Monsieur Kim Boon. Deux um, de la suite de ce que vous in terms of internal enemies Pour ce il y a des internes, was there a change you've mentioned you see the Americans and you've mentioned the CIA was there a change in the identity of the internal enemies from before the 17th of April 1975 to after the 17th of April, 1975. Entre la période avant le 17 avril 1975 et après cette date. I do not understand it uh, very well, but in my observation, those who were defeated uh, did not surrender. Uh, they continued uh, to resist. So during the entire period of uh, three years, uh, they uh, did not uh, really agree with the communist political lines. Actually, the party was a mere uh, symbol, but underneath, they wanted something uh, different because the regime at that time was not uh, like the one we are enjoying now. Uh, in the current regimes, we open our door and we welcome our foreign friends. But during that period, uh, they organized their strategies that was to turn Cambodia into communism. But the uh, uh, communism that was the transition from the uh, monarchy and then the republican and eventually the communist uh, country, then you could et imagine the conflicts, the contradictions in terms of ideologies and strategy. You may uh, be able to imagine it yourself. I do not want to uh, elaborate on that, but if you uh, take all of those historical involvement into considerations, there would be a lot of contradiction between the left wing the uh, communist bloc and the capitalist bloc. And also, I did not understand it in detail, but it was my sole analysis that the situation at that time was too complex. And according to the upper authority, they identify enemies in two, three categories. And what criteria did they employ in order to uh, categorize those uh, enemies? For example, CIA agents. I did not understand that then what CIA agents were. Sometimes they refer to CIA agents as Vietnamese uh, agents, but actually Vietnamese were the Vietnamese and CIAs were the Americans and uh, the Soviet uh, people were uh, the 
uh, KGB. Um, but at that time, I was the son of the uh, farmers. I did not understand that much. And I think that people, uh, ordinary or grassroots people at that time, did not understand that either. And when we studied or attended the uh, political trainings, we only uh, studied uh, the uh, warfare and enemies in general. But they did not clarify what uh, were considered CIA's agents, what were considered KGB. I did not understand. I could only understand it later on after uh, the regime. For example, Jun. Jun was not uh, the com contemptible word for the Vietnamese, but some people uh, uh, construe this word as something contemptible for uh, the Vietnamese, but uh, actually it was the uh, traditional word describes uh, the Vietnamese. For example, we call uh, Thai people as uh, the Siem, or uh, Vietnamese people as the Yun, and Laos people as Liu. So when I use Yun in this context before this chamber in my testimony, it does not mean that I am expressing my quantum against uh, the Vietnamese people. It was, uh, it was not the derogatory uh, remark against uh, the Vietnamese. So I apologize for uh, the chamber if I fail to use the full name of the country, for example, the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. So uh, for example, in our context as well, I, I normally refer this country to Khmer instead of Cambodia. Actually, people would use Cambodia in general. Mr. Kim Bun. What was your source Question. of information Monsieur Kim Boon. to lead to you just telling us Sur that the Lon Nol soldiers didn't surrender? Dites-vous que les soldats de Lon Nol ne s'étaient pas rendus? Qu'est-ce que vous venez de nous dire? I went to the bases and I could have the feel je of it. I went to the northwestern uh, zones and I could understand the situation uh, on the ground. Actually, uh, security matter was not uh, my responsibility. I was not in charge of uh, spying anything at all because it was not my responsibility. I once told Minister Jun Jat, uh, and then she warned me that uh, it was not my responsibility. I should uh, pay attention to agricultural works as well as the reconstruction of the country as for uh, the uh, overall situation or so, it was not my responsibility. And of course, uh, there were uh, some uh, hiding of the uh, weapons and other uh, stuff uh, among the people over there. And the popular mass at that time knew it, but I could not say anything because I was uh, not supposed to know anything aside from my uh, main responsibility. So that was the resistant forces. For example, the Khmer Rouge uh, soldier who went uh, to the... Uh, I wanted to go to the uh, Bang Levier. I wanted to go back to my uh, former base in Stung Trong. Uh, je voulais retourner à ma base à Stung Trong. In they told us that we could not uh, go to uh, sector O uh, 304 because they told us that uh, there were the presence of Vai Khmer over there. So that was the situation back in 1923, so I was not allow access to that area. Another example, I went to the west. Please, please forgive me, um, and please forgive me everyone in court, but uh, Mr. Kim Bun, uh, please forgive me, I know I've interrupted you, but um, can I say that uh, my time for questioning you is, is uh, being limited uh, by the court, and um, please forgive me for the interruption, but I wonder if I might be able to just move on to another question, please, uh, if you don't mind. Um, in the context of what you just said this morning, you, you've used the word smash. Now, I wonder if you could answer this fairly briefly, please, if possible. What did the word smash mean to you? 
Pourriez-vous nous dire ce que signifiait pour vous le mot « smash » ou « écraser » The word « smash » was used back then le mot « écraser » to refer to the crushing uh, beneath of anything. For example, if it is a document, and if we want it to uh, destroy it or get rid of it, then we uh, smash it away. But in the uh, battlefield, the word smash means uh, to attack any uh, base or so, and we have to resort to using uh, military forces in order to destroy uh, that location. So in the battlefield, we have uh, to be vigilant and consider uh, the other opponent as enemy. So we have to smash them. That was the meaning of the time. Thank you. Now, going back to the extract that we started on, in other words, dissemination about the purges of internal enemies being broadcasted widely. Is this broadcasted on the radio or broadcasted in some other way? Did you <laughs> or are you referring to the period, uh, uh, the five-year period before 1975 or during the uh, Democratic Kampuchea period? During the Democratic Kampuchea period. L'accusation, la période du Kampuchea démocratique. I did not Réponse. understand the plan to dis uh, to smash uh, the enemy because it was um, the decision of other people. Le plan à Cette a été Mr. Kimber, I'm not asking personne. whether you knew about the plan. Question. Let me put the questions the uh, question this way. After the 17th of April 1975, did you ever hear a broadcast where the broadcaster was saying, in the context of internal enemies, if any brother or sister is involved, Ankar will forgive them? des frères ou des sœurs qui auraient été impliqués là-dedans. Well, actually, I uh, did hear about that. Even my family members also had oui, a problem. En fait, and I learned it from the minister de ma famille who uh, disseminated uh, information in various um, political training sessions. Des Thank you. I just want to ask this then, going back to the quote. Merci. Je Broadcasted widely, both on the radio and in meetings. So just contra radio, concentrating on and réunions. in meetings. Donc, uh, what meetings was it, please, when this subject came up? What sort of meeting? Where? The meetings refer to uh, political training sessions, or sometimes there were ordinary meetings, but in certain special uh, circumstances, there were extraordinary meetings, and those meetings were meant to disseminate information to raise a vigilance and awareness among people, and that was the movement, the resistant movement in order to uh, seize back the power, and that was it. And people uh, were trying to defeat one another in order to regain uh, power. So we had to be vigilant at all times. Even I, myself, at that time, they are not uh, move around um, arbitrarily 
I, of course, went to uh, different parts uh, of the country, um, to the northeast and other uh, corners of the country. But once the situation was looming, uh, the leaders and I myself uh, felt uh, that we uh, must not uh, go out um, arbitrarily because there were many factions uh, in the country and we could not know who was who. We did not know who were our enemies and who were our friends. And if we make it by way of analogy, the water was already dirty, so everything was being mixed up. So I uh, did not see whether or not there was water, crabs, or uh, fish in, in the water, I cannot really see because the water was no longer Je transparent. And I had constant fear within myself. And the fear stemmed si from the, uh, the possible allegation of problems or so. I did not have any donc, problem myself, but as for my family members, they had problems, so they had to be vigilant and they uh, had constant fears all, all the time. Mr. Kimborn, in terms of the meetings where vigilance Question. was mentioned, were these meetings just within the Ministry of Propaganda, or did you go somewhere else where that was mentioned? To my recollection, uh, that was mentioned in my ministry. We, um, that was disseminated by the minister herself. And in other ministries, in those political training sessions, that could have been this dissemination as well. This was not something that everyone had to take it lightly, but it was a serious matter that everyone has to raise their vigilance. Thank you. I'd like to show you next, please, a document. The document is E3-11. ERN's Khmer 00063116, French 00492795, and English 00486212. Mr. President, can I please have leave for that document to be presented to the witness? The President, you may proceed. Court President officers is instructed to obtain the hard copy document from the prosecutor and hand it over to the witness for his examination. Mr. Kim Von, the document before you is the front page of a revolutionary flag. Special issue, September 1977, and in contrast with all previous red flags that I've shown you that have five flags on the front cover, this edition has one large flag taking up half of a page. Can you tell us why? Sauriez-vous nous expliquer pourquoi As for the change of the cover page uh, from five flags to one flag, I did not know. I did not know uh, when uh, it was changed. I had no idea. But I can confirm that this uh, is the uh, genuine document from the uh, Democratic Cambodia. Uh, I look at the uh, font as well as the form of the letters, uh, they uh, belong to the uh, period. Thank you. If we go to an extract from this edition, uh, it's your next page in your pack, so still on 3 E3 forward slash 11, the ERN's Khmer 00063118. 
French 00492797, English 0048624. The heading on the document is the presentation of the party representative on the occasion of the 17th anniversary of the great victory of the founding of the Communist Party of Kampuchea and on the occasion of the official domestic and international public announcement of the party. Now, can I ask the question in this way, please? When, after 1975, moving into 1976, did you think there was a connection between Ankar and the Communist Party of Kampuchea? Le cas échéant fait le lien entre euh, l'ANCAR et le Parti communiste du Kampuchea. To my understanding, ANCAR and commun uh, the Communist Party of Kampuchea were used differently, Anka but it, they were referred to the same thing. But uh, ANCAR was used more chose. broadly. And, uh, the communist party of Kampuchea, on the other hand, was used mainly internally, and uh, Ankar was broadly defined. Uh, were you ever aware of, uh, at any stage, of any announcement to the effect that Ankar was in fact the communist party of Kampuchea, that they were one and the same? le Parti communiste du Kampuchea, que c'était la même chose. I may wish to go back a little bit about uh, the um, writing of the uh, funk. Normally, uh, Minister Hu Nam granted me permission to uh, change uh, the word from the Communist Party of Cambodia to Anka. So during that period, I uh, concede to uh, my superior. I was instructed at the uh, printing house that where uh, there was the Communist Party of Cambodia, it was uh, then changed uh, to the front or Anka. So it was my understanding that uh, uh, the meaning, uh, it, it was referred to the same thing. Um, thank you, Mr. Kim Vaughan. Uh, next, please, I'd like to, merci, with Mr. President's leave, le président, avec uh, show to you the full Je copy of document E3 document forward slash 169. Can I explain E3 this was not one that was downloaded uh, to, the, uh, to the court before today? Uh, um, can I hand you this document, please? And I'd like you to take some time, not just to look at the front page, but to look at the whole document, and then can you indicate to me when you feel you've properly digested this document? Mr. President, can I please present this document to the witness? Prendre connaissance de the ce President, document. you may proceed. The uh, court officer is now instructed to obtain a document from the prosecution oui, oui, and hand it over to the witness.
The President, I note uh, the Defense Council is on his feet. Uh, you may proceed, Council. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I do not object as such to the prosecution using Merci, this document. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I would like to point out that it is uh, the feeling uh, at the defense that if the defense would try to do this, the defense would try to use documents and that has not been put up on the interface before we feel we would be uh, kept from doing so. Uh, this is an informed feeling. Uh, of course, it stems from uh, events that took place last week where we were time and again kept from using certain documents. We acknowledge that that ruling was later overruled, but um, we do feel that uh, the defense at times is uh, placed at a disadvantage. Again, I do not think uh, that there's any reason to not have the prosecution use this document, but we would like the chamber to apply one line, <coughs> excuse me, uh, whether or not documents are going to be relied upon by either prosecution or the defense. Thank you. Mr. President, can I just respond? I hope to help everyone in court. Um, Mr. Kim Vaughan is a witness, perhaps in a special category, because of his knowledge of documentation during this period. Now, Mr. Kim Vaughan, in respect of this document that you have in your hands, can you please uh, indicate? And to let everyone know what the document is, uh, it's a speech by Comrade Q. Sampan, President of the Presidium of the State of Democratic Kampuchea, at the mass meeting held on the occasion of the third anniversary of the glorious April the 17th and the founding of Democratic Kampuchea. Now, first of all, can you remember anything about this anniversary, the third anniversary? Rappelez-vous cet troisième anniversaire? The President, witness, uh, please hold on. Uh, National Council for Mr. Kilsen Pond, you may proceed. Council Council Thank you, Mr. Uh, President. I uh, simply concur with the uh, position of the uh, Defense uh, Council for Mr. Nunjir. Uh, we would like to hear the ruling of the Chamber, the President. Thank you. If we are not mistaken, Due to the complexity of this uh, issue, the chamber has un sujet decided uh, to uh, review the uh, filing of the document before the chamber in the uh, trial management meeting held on the 17th of August 2012. And we made reference uh, to the uh, changes in the previous rulings handed down uh, by the chamber in respect to the document put before the chamber by parties. And the chamber agreed that the defense team for Nunjir may use um, one document that the chamber was not granted the permission uh, due to the uh, previous ruling of the chamber. However, due to the uh, specific city of the document, uh, the chamber has reviewed uh, that um, particular uh, document, and then that was allowed. But then uh, Mr. Canvas also uh, put the question to the witness in relation to that particular document. So the involvement of the issue concerning the uh, placing of document for examination by the witness was already uh, ruled upon. And just now, uh, the chamber uh, identified the uh, 
topics in the last meeting in the trial management meeting. Uh, there were a number of other issues that uh, we have not been dealt with, but we uh, decided to discuss uh, the issue of placing the document before the chamber in order to address the problems of questions to be put to the uh, witness. And that was intended to address the issue of the document put before the chamber uh, put uh, to the witness for uh, questioning by the defense team for Nunchia, and the chamber has already uh, advised the parties accordingly. And from now on, documents with the E number. Uh, the uh, documents, maintenant, considered the documents considered to be put before the chamber. So, uh, so long as parties uh, uh, choose the document with the E numbers, you do not have to identify the identity of the document because those documents were considered put before the chamber. Les parties n'ont pas besoin d'identifier les documents car ce sont des documents versés au débat. And in this particular document before us, the relevant paragraphs used, uh, so long as the chamber consider that certain documents are put before the chambers or that the chamber uh, deems uh, they are appropriate, then parties may uh, be allowed to use this document um, to be examine with uh, the witness so si long as the document is relevant. Si le document est pertinent, certes.
The president, uh, perhaps there could be some misunderstanding in the observation by council and uh, to clarify things concerning observation by council for the accused with regard to the document being put before the chamber or being examined uh, by the co-prosecution, the document that is up on the screen now, we would like uh, to hand over to Judge Laverne to shed light on this, to be more precise. Judge Laverne, you may now proceed. Oui, merci, yes, Monsieur thank Président. you, Mr. President. Uh, Monsieur le Procureur, la, la Chambre a compris que vous entendiez well, utiliser we have pour understood from you, prosecutor, that you intend to use uh, un document, a document uh, to document question this witness, and it seems that this document uh, is not in the daily, daily interface. interface. Qui est normalement which la pratique normally, qui doit être suivie and normally pour proper practice should be to use the documents in the interface so that all parties should know in advance the vont, documents uh, uh, vont être that will be used uh, uh, to question uh, witnesses. Est -ce que est so, bien le cas? is this the case? Est -ce y a une is there a, re a specific reason pour, uh, que ce why pas été this document has not been included uh, in uh, the daily interface? Can I answer that question? The front page of this document was included in the interface in English. It was E3-202. So the front page of the document in English was provided in advance by the prosecutors. Having appreciated that that was a translation from an original French document, the French front page is now being put to the witness. I hope that clarifies. En français et maintenant montre au témoin. J'espère que cela vous apporte les précisions que vous cherchez. Bien. Donc toutes les parties ont eu connaissance à l'avance que ce document pourrait être utilisé par l'intermédiaire de l'interface. May be used through the interface. Si tel est bien le cas, je pense qu'il n'y a pas case, de difficulté pour que I ce document puisse être utilisé. There's no problem in using this document. Thank you. Can I add as an observation, please, Mr. President? I wonder if the court might find it helpful if defense counsel decide to object at the same time and not when I've asked the question. But can I please proceed? Um, Mr. Kimball, my last question to you was, do you remember the third anniversary of uh, the glorious victory of the 17th of April? Response. In general, at my ministry, the anniversary of the general, victory of the 17th of April would be conducted on a regular basis. Thank you. And what would take place on the anniversary, Question. generally Et speaking? De manière générale, que se passait-il lors de cet anniversaire? Response. Generally speaking, there would be speeches by the minister concerning the victory of the 17th April. Thank you. Is the document you have before you an official document? The document you have before you is an official document. Response. Réponse. Yes, it is. Oui. But I don't know where it was printed. Mais je ne sais pas où le document était imprimé. And uh, do you recall anything about this speech? Question. Vous vous souvenez-vous de quoi que ce soit à propos de ce discours? Response. No, I Réponse. don't, because I have non. not read the document 
and I do not appear to recollect et the full content of the speech, but I believe that it is more or less about the victory of the 17th of April. However, I also wish to emphasize that in such a piece of document, Kilsom Pond alone could never be the only person who contributed to writing the text. Kilsom Pond normally likes writing long sentences. So I can say that uh, the statement could have never been drafted alone by the state presidium. It could have been done or with assistance of the upper echelon. However, I can't talk on his behalf. He himself can shed light on this. How do you know that Q. Sampan wrote in long sentences? Response. I used to read uh, some texts. Text. The texts meant to be broadcast on the radio, radio during the five-year period. Normally, Pendant we would receive texts submitted to us qui nous uh, stemming from his writing, so his sentences rédigé thank you staying on the subject of Question. Q there is on the case file mr president and your honor so you know there is uh, partial excerpts transcripts partial transcripts of what mr kim von had to say to the interviewing um, investigators and the first document I'd like to make reference to is D201 forward slash 10.1. Now, Mr. Kim Bon, in your interviews with the investigating officers, you said this in respect of Q. Sampong. I was always with him during the National United Front. Is that correct? The Front Union National. It is vrai. Response. It was partly correct because I was never always be with him. Car, uh, but I can say that among the one hundred percent statement, uh, I mean, I would say that it's only third uh, or three percent uh, out of that fact that I was with him. Right, thank you. I want to move to your knowledge of connection with Q. Sompon after the 17th of April 1975, when you were working at the Ministry of Propaganda or the Ministry of Propaganda and Education. First question. Did you ever work in Q. Sompon's department or ministry? Response. Réponse. No, I didn't. No. I worked at a different ministry. Je travaillais moi dans un autre the ministère. Ministry of Propaganda, propaganda and de Education, de where I worked. I had never met him. I met je ne him once, en fait, but je accidentally. Une fois, par accident. When I was going out taking some photographs Alors que à je prenais des photos. so I can say that I rarely met him. Donc je dirais que je rencontré I just want to be clear on this and, and please take your time if you need to. Question, que ce After soit clair the 17th of April 1975, avant le 17 avril is it correct that you exact only que vous met Q. Sampan once Q. accidentally? Par accident. Response. Réponse. Yes. Oui, c'est exact. Was he responsible Question. for monitoring your work in any way? Avait-il une responsabilité quelconque en matière de supervision de votre travail? Response. Réponse. 
No, he wasn't. Non. Because I was at the other ministry. Moi, j'étais. Je travaillais pour un autre ministère. Dont il n'avait pas la. Did you ever attend any study sessions when he was present? Des séances d'études où il était présent. Response. Réponse. No, I didn't. Non. And I never met him in any study sessions. Je ne l'ai jamais vu dans une séance d'études. Did you ever visit Question. the Ministry jamais... of Commerce? Vous êtes-vous jamais rendu au ministère du Commerce? Response. Réponse. No, I didn't. Non. But uh, oh, things that are relevant to commerce, like transportation, des... the Certains aspects transportation of goods at the Phnom Penh port, au port de I would uh, go Phnom there Penh. to take uh, some photographs of Je the people at work uh, for the purpose of publishing in dans le but de uh, my work, at de my work. Publier. In terms of what you thought Question. Hugh Sampan was doing, is it right that your only source of information came from colleagues of yours. Que vos seules informations provenaient de collègues. Response. Réponse. Yes, it is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Did you ever attend any meetings Question. of the Standing Committee or Central Committee? Une réunion du Comité Central ou du Comité Permanent? Response. Réponse. As far as my right uh, is concerned, I said no. Pour ce qui est de mes droits, je dis non. Again, going back to your interviews with the investigators, to the document which is D201 forward slash 11.1, transcription de votre entretien avec les enquêteurs à la page 0083-3795, French 0083-7043. And English 0083-4717. You said this. Vous avez dit, je cite. Propaganda and education La propaganda. never saw him. And this is in relation Et to Dieu Saint-Fan. Propaganda and education never saw him. No, and no. he never showed his face. La, on ne l'a jamais vu correct? au ministère de la propagande et de l'éducation. That's exact. Response. Yes, it is. Réponse. You exact. also said on the same page, sur cette même page during this period, after 17th of April, during this period, période, mostly propaganda période, related to Q Sampan. Uh, is that correct? La propagande sur le, qui concernait principalement Q Sampan. Est-ce exact? Response. Réponse. No, it isn't. No. Can you please clarify Question. what you meant? Pouvez-vous nous dire ce que vous vouliez dire? Response. What I Réponse. meant was that he was never present at dire, our ministry because we ministère. were chaired by our own minister already Nous at the ministry. Ministre. After the 17th of April 1975, did Q Sampan make any broadcasts? Q Sampan a-t-il jamais prononcé, a-t-il jamais fait d'intervention à la radio? Response. I already stated uh, yes. J'ai déjà dit que oui. And I note that uh, I could recognize the texts uh, to belong to him because they were of long sentences. That's what I thought. Les textes qu'il rédigeait car il y avait de longues phrases. Du moins, c'est ce que je croyais. 
in respect of anniversaries of the great victory. Do you remember there being separate speeches each year? Souvenez-vous que si chaque année c'était des discours différents. Response. In each anniversary, there would be the statement or speech, Il y avait. and I did not take notice. The discourse. I did not pay attention to reading the speech, Je pas but lu normally discours. it was the case that such speech uh, could Mais be used général, to on each anniversary. Il se pouvait que l'on lise ces discours à chaque anniversaire. Mr. Kimborn, I'm moving on, Question. please, now to questioning about your first wife. Je vais maintenant passer à un autre wife, sujet. Je vais uh, parler Jim de votre première épouse, Chinari, Jim Chanary, alias Pong. Alias Pong. Can you please explain to the court what oui, happened to your wife in 1977? Épouse en 1977. Response. Take your time. Veuillez, je vous prie, prendre le temps. Que vous... We understand the position. Nous, nous comprenons bien. Mr. Kimbourn, would you like me to carry on? Monsieur Are you um, content with me carrying on? Voulez-vous que je poursuive? Response, as you may proceed. Réponse. You said in your OCI statement that the OCIJ Question. interviews that she was called to study and then disappeared for good. Can you just tell us, please, a little about what happened just prior to her disappearance and the day of the disappearance, please? Response. Response. Actually, I did not know anything about this. En fait, uh, but before her disappearance, changes ne pas. were, uh, or she had been moved, and I also Avant cette had to move été working places from B25, uh, rather Office oui. 25. Oui to Office 29, and I did not move to work at other two locations uh, where my wife uh, could have been assigned to work at, là où ma femme and pu être uh, as assigned by the minister, my wife had to work as the deputy Et head of the office at the propaganda office. Être chef she was tasked la with la reading the news Sa on the radio, de lire les nouvelles à la radio on a daily basis. Tous les jours. However, later on, Mais plus tard, She was removed and transferred to Office 25 to become the assistant to Mrs. Yun Yat. She was also tasked with 
compiling the biographies of the cadres at the ministry. Donner la tâche de faire la collecte des biographies des cadres du ministère. Also, she was tasked with teaching children. Et elle devait aussi enseigner à des enfants. It was during that period of time that she parted ways from me. À cette époque euh, que nous, nous avons été séparés. I still did not know where she would Je be invited to attend the study session because it was ordered by the minister. Le ministre. The minister did not even tell me where my wife could have been taken to. Là, I met the, the minister elle, ma femme avait été en, after the disappearance. I could never have the gut to see the minister before, but then I felt that I have nothing more to lose after losing my wife, so I had to meet the minister to ask why my wife was taken away to study sessions. But I was just told very briefly that uh, only after she attended the study session for half a month que ce que that après avoir uh, I could be told of the reason and I was asked to go home. That's all I learned about the disappearance of my wife. Su au sujet de la de mon and uh, when she left, uh, she left with nothing. Et quand she elle did partie, not bring along any partie, luggage. Elle, elle rien emporté avec elle, aucun bagage. Mr. Kim Von, did you have a child Question. with your first Kim wife Von, at this stage? Vous et votre première épouse aviez-vous un enfant à l'époque? Response. Réponse. We had a daughter Nous avions une about fille. 12 months. Âgée d'un an à peu près. What happened to your daughter? Question. Qu'est-il arrivé à votre fille? Response. I don't know. Réponse. I don't know Je ne sais pas. what happened to her and to my wife. Je ne sais pas ce qui lui est arrivé. Tout Just so that we're clear, if we take the day after your wife Question. had disappeared, Pour was your daughter clair, still with you? Le jour après la disparition de votre épouse, votre fille était-elle avec vous? Response. Réponse. During the three-year period, people with children would have to Pendant leave uh, their children ans, at the nursery or the children center. After work, de, uh, they could enfants. then bring back travail, their children. So I can say that my daughter could not stay with us. Uh, she would be looked after by a babysitter at the children center uh, where she was kept qui at the old uh, pedagogic uh, Pedagogical school. Lycée pédagogique. Since the day Question. that they disappeared, have you seen either of them? Depuis leur disparition, les avez-vous jamais revus? Response: No, nothing. No. Did you and yet, at any stage Question. after they disappeared, give you a reason? As to why your wife had gone. À quelque moment que ce soit, donner les motifs de la disparition de votre épouse. After the live view meeting, a study session, and after my biography was written again, I was called to meet her face to face, where I was told. Briefly, that my wife was a CIA agent. De la CIA. I was, as I told you, taking issue with that statement Je because pas I had been living with her 
long enough to understand her weaknesses and her strength. Assez longtemps pour bien connaître ses and forces et ses faiblesses. We also attended study sessions nous and we also distributed information about the three categories of enemy so we could observe one another to believe Donc that my wife could never be an enemy. And uh, we, uh, I learned from her previously that she told uh, me that her friends had been removed to do farming. And she said that she was no involved uh, with any other agents. Il m'a dit qu'elle n'avait aucun lien avec d'autres agents. And uh, she told me that, that she worked close to the center, and I worked close to the center, and I encouraged her to be Et strong because uh, uh, we uh, were known by a lot of. Uh, senior people Car that she could never be killed. The President, thank you, Mr. Witness, and thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. It is now appropriate uh, moment uh, for the adjournment. The Chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes. Pour une de Court officer is now instructed to assist uh, the witness during the adjournment, and uh, the next session will be resumed by 10 to 11.